Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I've been well too, back with another episode of Weekender Lander, episode 13, I think. Which according to a lot of you guys' comments, this is the only type of video you wanna watch me make. So here's one for ya. So this trip was interesting. It relied on us having a campfire, kind of, sorta. We'll get into that later. We started going towards one trail, realized there was a burn ban in that county, quickly Googled, searched, looked up a new trail, which we went and hit the new trail, kind of like halfway to the other trail. We found a different trail and went and hit a new trail. So that was kind of a pain in the butt. This episode of Weekender Lander for the first time ever was sponsored, sponsored by Bespoke Post. They sell a high quality kind of curated subscription box catered towards men, though I'm sure women could get it too, but it's kind of that like rustic, classic man's man's stuff. So we're talking like axes and knives and drinkware and like manly scents and camping gear and outdoor stuff, all that kind of stuff. They do a subscription box. As with most subscription boxes, you're paying less than the value of the stuff you get. They actually spent, sent out this little guy in their forge box, this little Damascus knife. This beauty's kind of a peek at what they do, just kind of like stuff that makes you go, ooh, that's nice. Anyway, I was all about it. Check them out, I'll link to them down below. Again, thanks Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. So yeah, we drive around, we're almost, we're almost to like the turn off for the trail and then Ashley sees a sign about fire restrictions and we're like, huh, what county is this actually? And it's so confusing because there's different National Forest Service lands and then within those National Forests they're like split into multiple counties. So the burn bans, sometimes they're kind of forest related, usually they're county. Sometimes even within the county they get very specific. Anyway, where we were gonna go originally, there was a burn ban. Um, and Ashley made up some pre-made meals, salmon and rice and some seasoning and some veggies. She wanted a healthy meal for a change. Uh, but this meal, they were in foil bags and they kind of relied on setting them on a campfire. So we had like for the first time ever, a meal that kind of required a campfire. Usually we can just toss them on any number of grills, but this one kind of required a campfire. So we pulled into a gas station, pulled up our phones, pulled up the little overlander and searched around and found a trail nearby in a county that didn't have a burn ban so we could make a fire and cook our meal. We focus a lot on tech this video because I'm testing out a lot of stuff, some battery things, some solar panels. I take my Dometic fridge out. Uh, we test out the overlander that Garmin just sent out for me to test, things like that. So a little more gear heavy this video though. As always, I do hope you know you don't need a bunch of gear to get out and have a good time. But anyways, here we go. our camp spot. We were originally gonna go on this other trail that looked cooler than the one we're on now, but kind of last minute we saw slash remember slash looked up and the county that the other trail was in had a fire ban. So Ashley for like the first time in our camping history 
made a meal that kind of depended on fire to cook. Like we could probably cook it on a, on, in a pan or something, but it'd be a pain. Anyway, she made some foil salmon, which we'll get to in a little bit, which kind of required a campfire. So we found another trail in a different county that doesn't have a fire ban in effect. And the trail's been pretty wooded, uh, so there wasn't a whole lot to show because just kind of dense forest. But this is pretty, kind of. Anywhere, there's a nice big fire ring set up over here in pretty nice open area. So we're gonna get camp set up, get a fire going and get to camping. So I didn't really plan to start a fire with a knife and fire steel. The knife is a Benchmade Bushcrafter um, that I haven't used much. I've been using a bunch of little bushcraft knives around camp just for fun. And then on the sheath here, I'll show you kind of, on the sheath has a little spot for a fire steel. So this is bench made, like collab with fire rod. So anyways, it throws a crazy spark. The spine on the bushcraft is super sharp. Anyway, just using this knife for now. So while I was starting that fire, I actually got attacked by the bee and told me not to put that clip in the video, but you probably just saw the clip because I probably just put it in the video. Anyway, we got the fire going pretty good. Uh, Trey, you had a long, hard day of sitting in the back seat, so he is passed out. Ooh. So we're gonna let this fire go for a little while and get some coals, some embers, to cook our salmon meals that Ashley prepared. Uh, I don't have a video or a picture of what's in there, but you'll see after it's done cooking. Tonight's beer is a limited edition prospector. Tartra Berry Sour from Tommy Knocker. It's a really good beer, really nice. It's a nice little spot. Trucks back there. I always try to have a fire extinguisher nearby when I have campfire. Okay, so I've been testing out a bunch of battery packs. Actually, I was using this one for part of the trip. Lion Energy. I got some panels, a couple panels. And then this guy is powering my fridge currently, it's a uh, Suwoki. I don't really know how to pronounce that, honestly. And I'm actually charging Trey's little glow collar. It's running 
the Dometic. So the Dometic has an AC or a DC plug. I can plug it into. Right now I'm just plugged it into AC because I had something else plugged into AC, so I had the AC on. I could switch it over and use the DC plug if I wanted, basically the cigarette lighter plug. But that's that. Got some stuff in here. Um, we had the salmon in there. Got some eggs down in there for breakfast tomorrow. So that's the Dometic. This is the CFX uh, 35, I believe. I haven't talked about it too much. I've had it for a little while. Some weekends I just use a cooler. Sometimes I pop that in there. Um, you know, you don't need ice, so that's nice, but you do need power. You can just plug it into your car cigarette lighter or your car AC plug if you have one, or if you have these. These things don't have a crazy long life cycle because they're a technology item. So I kind of want to do these tech items while they're still current before they're like the previous gen. But anyways, I got this. This has an accompanying panel back there. I actually have a little panel, a little Suoki panel. This is a little 60 watt guy to charge that other one. So the sun is now setting over the horizon. So there's no sun power, but I'll be putting these. I think the sun will be rising over there somewhere. So I'll put some panels out and, and see if we get some early morning charge on these guys. All right, so I'm gonna set a couple of these panels up to catch the morning light, the morning sun that is. We're actually getting some pretty nice colors out here. I'll show you in a second when I set the exposure. A lot of this wood we're using was just sitting here. Someone else cut it. So I think it was a little wet, a little bit. That's why it was a little hard to start the fire. Got some shooting going on in the background. And usually wet wood is smokier, FYI. So the drier the wood, the less smoky it'll be in general. Looks like Ashley's spreading out some stuff so we can cook on the coals. The gunfire out here is just echoing through the valley. People are shooting down, down below. Here, but let me go ahead and adjust some exposure and check out the sun set. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you. Some nice pinks. I want you to know. The sun's actually over there. Nice. It's nice. We're right at almost at tree line, but this is pretty dense in here, so hopefully there won't be too much breeze. So this is just salmon, um, so we could pretty much eat it raw. Uh, so it's not super important. But if you're cooking chicken or something, obviously make sure you're cooking it all the way because you don't want to be diarrheaing out in the beautiful woods or anything like that. But we got salmon, so we're good. I'm not sure how well this picks up on the camera, but it is just a crazy beautiful color sunset off in the distance back there. The fire over here. Cooking up the salmon. Getting some stuff ready for dark. I'll be setting up some lights and whatnot. That is, that is a pretty sunset. So this is a tray use flashing collar that I'll put on them. <laughs> Sometimes, if we're near like a more heavily trafficked trail or if he seems to be kind of running off a little bit too much, I'll toss it in just so I can kind of keep an eye on him. Uh, usually don't put it on him, honestly. We're kind of on not that traffic trails and he usually just kind of chills by us, but I would toss it on because this is technology video, right? So. This is a piece of technology for your dog. All right, 
This is nice. All done, good to go. We got this little log table by the fire. We're gonna eat. Enjoy dinner together. While Atreyu wishes he was human. Getting here, having dinner. But in the distance, I don't think I'll have the zoom to really make you appreciate it, but the moon is just this beautiful orange color and just massive, but can't really tell on video. Oh well. All right, we're winding down. Gonna shovel some dirt on the fire. Demos just sent me the production alpha. So shovel a little dirt and then get some water. Put the fire out. And go to bed. So I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. Uh, cooking up some water in the anti-technology trip with the solo stove. It's a gas fire stove. This is actually the Titan model. So a little bigger. Cook some breakfast on here and right now just boil in some water. Nice day. Super sunny. We have sun in the panels. I'll show you that in a bit. Just woken up by some recreational shooters shooting at 7 a.m. Off to an early start. These kinds of stoves are nice because you see all this stuff. All this stuff which is just everywhere in a lot of places I camp that's what this thing burns kind of anything like I'll throw this in there and it'll burn so you can kind of feed it through this little front part or you can just drop it in the top I'll drop this big piece and it'll fuel it for a little while Good breakfast. So let's see, we got this panel. Pretty good direction to the sun over here. Pretty decent angle, this one too. So this one's been powering my fridge. It looks like it's getting 34 watts of input. That's powering the fridge back here. And this panel, Looks like it's charging at 61 watts. I didn't bring my tripod, so for these selfies, gotta, gotta improvise to get that perfect angle. You wanna see what a 
campsite like ours looks like most of the time when you don't clean it up for photos and stuff. So you got some solar panels around. This is the bag with all pillows and bedding and stuff. Rooftop tents a lot of times, well all tents, but rooftops especially get condensation under the mattresses. So I'll usually pop them up and just shove the sleeping bag underneath to air it out for a little bit. That way I don't have to air it out later. There are little anti-condensation mats and stuff you can get. Um, water, hand washing station, kinda. Here, trash bag. This is kind of my kit with a bunch of random stuff in it. Duffel bag of clothes, um, toiletries, things like that. Kind of just some leftovers, some socks, headlamps. And then uh, in the back, this is Trey's bed platform actually built. Fridge covered in dog hair. Oof. So we are all packed up, all cleaned up, got hot. Hey bud, doesn't look like you got energy to jump up here. Don't be lazy. Whoa, good boy. All right, so we're on the road. Just from the campsite, I plugged in directions to home on the Overlander and we'll see if it actually gets us home. Thousand feet of elevation, September 15th. It looks like the Aspens are starting to change. Adventure in Colorado, this is what you gotta look forward to. Okay guys, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I really want to encourage you guys just to get out there. You don't need all the gear. I love gear, I'm kind of a gear review channel. Companies send me a lot of gear, I have a lot of gear. People are always asking me questions about gear, so I show a lot of gear, but you definitely don't need a lot of gear. You don't need a crazy tricked out vehicle. Just find some trails, get out there, have a good time, stay safe, clean up after yourself, don't make a mess, don't shoot up signs, don't drive off the trail, don't leave your trash behind. All those normal things that any good human being should know, but act like that and the trails will stay open longer and everyone will be happier for it. This, my Tacoma, the truck I took People ask me a lot of questions about this, wheel, tire, bumper, all that stuff. I have little pieces of videos here and there about it. Um, so you can always almost find anything on this vehicle, but it's been a while since I've done one video to kind of go over the whole truck, all of the stuff, without diving too deep. But I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I'm gonna turn the camera off and then turn the camera back on and film a little walk around of my truck. The other thing, is my Land Cruiser in the background here. Uh, I hear you guys loud and clear. You wanna see more about the Land Cruiser. I do too. It is, I'm taking it to paint, uh, to get painted. The paint is trashed. I'm taking it to get a new paint job in a week. So that means I gotta take a bunch of stuff off of it. Um, after the paint gets done, then I'm gonna put some new stuff on it, some new stuff I'm excited about. So in a couple of weeks, hopefully, I should kinda have it all back together, not necessarily in its final stage, but 
in its kind of stage one for, for my ownership of the vehicle. It's already, it's already decently built out, but I'm gonna be adding some special touches. So I'm gonna wait until that's on. That'll be a couple weeks before I kind of intro you, kind of a formal intro to the rig, but I got it guys, you wanna see it. It's, it's coming, don't you even worry. Coming up next week from when I'm filming this, exactly one week from right now, Mike Glover from Fieldcraft Survival is coming out. Um, we're gonna do some long distance precision rifle. Uh, he was a Green Beret sniper for a number of years. He knows more than most people on the planet, more than the vast majority of people on the planet when it comes to kind of survival and tactics and gun stuff. So I have an opportunity to just kind of hang out with him for a day or two. We may do some camping, overlanding, whatever. I'll, maybe we'll do a weekender lander. I'm not sure. That's coming up next week. Fieldcraft Survival. I'm sure we'll do a podcast or something. So anyways, check them out on iTunes or your favorite podcast thing, Fieldcraft Survival, to kind of get up to speed on, on Mike, Mike Lover. So that's coming up, as well as I'll be focusing on a specific gun, a Q fix that Shooting Surplus got out to me. I just got my loophole MK5 mounted on there, so I've never shot it. So it'll be the first time shooting it during that video. So hopefully it doesn't blow up, right? But that's about it. That's all the updates I got for now. As always, links in the video description. I'll link to most of the stuff in this video, as well as so much more. Clicking those links does always help support the channel. So if you're a fan of what I do here, I do have a Patreon, but also just shopping through the links helps support. So if you're not into the Patreon thing or whatever, but you do wanna support by buying yourself something, buy it through my links. Always appreciate that. And until next time, guys, take care.